next speaker is uh, Jin Feng Nia. Okay, yeah, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Xiaolian uh, organizing this uh, memorial workshop. And I also would like to thank uh, Trump and the US government since they spent the uh, Yayu's visa so that uh, <laughs> I can have this chance uh, in the last minute. Uh, today I will talk about the uh, topology shift connector and the Magellan Zero Mode. Uh, I'm Jin Feng Jia from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Uh, first, uh, I would like to uh, say something about uh, our cooperation with Sou Chen. Uh, our cooperation actually started from 2009. Uh, after that, we called uh, many papers. Here, I missed uh, three. And uh, this one is our first uh, uh, paper uh, about uh, the, the intrinsic topological insulate thin film growth uh, and uh, it's, it's uh, uh, published in 2010. Uh, this one is uh, in 2012 we reported the uh, uh, first uh, 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 growth of uh, topological insulate thin film business cellular on top of a super connector substrate uh, and we can make this uh, uh, hydro uh, junction and uh, make uh, a ship connectivity and topological surface state uh, together. And uh, actually, today I will give uh, more details about this. And uh, this one is uh, published uh, was published in 2015. It's about uh, the growth of standing uh, in 2014. Uh, Xu Yong and uh, Sou Chen uh, predict this. Uh, Standing was very uh, ideal uh, material about uh, quantum spin hole. So uh, we uh, grow it uh, uh, and uh, succeed in 2015. And, and uh, this is the content of my talk. Uh, first, a uh, little bit uh, introduction, then I will talk about how to make this uh, uh, topological ship connect by proximity factor. Then I will focus uh, on uh, this uh, major mode in the vortex. If I have time, I will show some new uh, 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 result. Uh, actually, uh, since uh, topologic ship connector is very interesting, uh, they can hold, uh, host uh, major zero mode. Uh, but uh, in nature, we, we don't have this uh, kind of topologic ship connector. Uh, fortunately, in 2008, uh, uh, Liang Fu and Charles King proposed uh, if we put a uh, SWL ship connector on top of uh, topological insulator uh, film, uh, then by this proximity factor, we can make this topological surface state ship connecting. This will be the P wave like uh, uh, ship connector. It, uh, it's a kind of uh, topological ship connector. And uh, if we apply magnetic field in the center of vortex, we can see that this manual bound state, they appear as a zero by mode. And, uh, but uh, I, uh, putting this s well ship connector on top of a topological insulator, it's, it's not, it, uh, not uh, that easy since this topological um, insulator and those materials, they are not very stable. 
if, uh, if we put uh, this uh, element uh, chip connector on top, uh, they will react with the tellurium or cellurium since they are uh, very active, just like oxygen. And uh, if we put this compound uh, uh, chip connector, uh, we need a high temperature to, to make the, them crystal. And uh, the, yeah, it's much uh, higher than 300 degrees C, so it's uh, also very difficult. And also, if we put ship connector on top of a topological insulator, this topologic ship connector is at the interface. So we cannot use our surface sensitive technique to, to, to study this uh, topologic insulator. And also, we have uh, many experience uh, uh, topological insulator thin film growth, uh, as I mentioned uh, uh, at the beginning. Uh, so we decided to make uh, 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 things a little bit uh, uh, simple, and uh, we put in topological insulator thin films on top of S wave ship connector substrate, and we can control the thickness of topological insulator thin film and make the app surface state also ship connecting. Then it will also be a topological ship connector. And uh, most importantly, this topological ship connector is open. We can use our surface sensitive technique to study it. And we choose a very special uh, ship connector, now beam selenide itself. It's a selenide and also nailed structure. It won't react with bismuth selenide or bismuth telluride. So we can get a very sharp uh, interface and get a good uh, proximity effect. And then we can study these uh, uh, problems. And uh, in 2012, we succeeded uh, growing bismuth selenide on top of uh, nabium selenide. And uh, using STM, we can uh, detect uh, the ship connect gap. And using RPES, we can see the uh, uh, surface state. So by putting uh, topological insulator on top of uh, uh, ship connecting substrate, we can make uh, uh, sh ship connectivity and the topological uh, surface state coexist. This should be a topological uh, ship connector. And uh, for det uh, detecting magnetic zero mode, we change it to another system, the bismuth telluride. The reason, uh, uh, there are two reasons. One is uh, for this bismuth selenide, uh, we need uh, six quantum layer, this direct cone uh, surface state forms. But uh, for this uh, bismuth telluride, we only need uh, three quantum layer uh, film. You can see here, for two quantum layer thin film, we, we see this uh, featureless DIDV curve. That means uh, a low surface state. Uh, for three quantum layer uh, film, we got uh, this uh, U-shaped DIDV curve. It's very similar to the DIDV curve we got from very thick uh, film. And uh, here is uh, the bottom of uh, connecting band uh, is the top of valence band. And uh, another important uh, reason is for this bismuth telluride, we can control the film level by just control the growing temperature. You can see here, uh, at a lower growing temperature, we got a very N-type uh, uh, film and uh, you can see film level cutting uh, cut connecting band that uh, after we increasing the growing temperature at uh, this uh, 630 Kelvin we got very P type uh, film you, uh, film level almost cut uh, the valence band and uh, uh, on this kind of uh, uh, film uh, we can see up to 11 quantum layer uh, we still can see a small ship connect gap. And for substrate and the first two quantum layer films, uh, we can fit in the gap by BCS theory uh, yeah, quite well. You can see almost uh, the same, uh, almost no error. But for three quantum layer film, we can see the error is uh, much large. Uh, but for three quantum layer bismuth cellular, this error is also very small. The difference between these two is for this business cellulite, low surface state forms, but for this three quantum layer business telluride uh, surface state forms. So in this case, we have uh, both uh, contribution from surface state and uh, flux state. So 
we cannot uh, simulate this gap uh, with uh, one single uh, BCS uh, uh, formula. Uh, so in, a, in a, another world, in this case, the topological surface state is shift connecting. Uh, so we, we got a full gap topological shift connect. Uh, now I will show you uh, how to detect uh, manual zero mode in the, uh, this, uh, this uh, sample. Uh, before that, we have to load uh, some features of this uh, manual zero mode in the vortex. Uh, one feature, of course, is zero energy. Everyone knows that. Another one is uh, uh, this uh, uh, manual mode has uh, uh, some uh, special distribution. It's not like a point in the vortex. Uh, Taylor uh, calculated this uh, uh, shield connector, topological instrument shield connector structure, and uh, they conclude in the uh, vortex this uh, manual zero mode do have this uh, cone like spatial distribution, and uh, the expansion is about 40 nanometer. And uh, uh, Patrick Lee and KP Low proposed uh, this uh, manual zero mode also has a spin. And uh, if we, and uh, it can cause this selective equal spin and reflection. Uh, if we inject an electron with the same spin as the manual mode, uh, we will got a hole with the same spin back. Uh, this is called uh, uh, equal spin and reflection. But if we inject an electron with the opposite spin, and uh, this electron cannot go inside, it will, it will be reflected uh, directly. Uh, so they also propose that this kind of uh, spin uh, selective angular reflection can be used to detect the manual uh, mode. So at least we have uh, three features, one zero energy, one uh, this uh, uh, cone-like uh, spatial distribution, and uh, this uh, uh, spin selective angular reflection. Uh, for zero energy, we at the center of vortex, we got this zero bus peak. Uh, uh, but this doesn't mean uh, this, uh, is, this one is related to manual zero mode, since uh, even at normal uh, vortex, uh, there are a lot of this uh, normal bound states, and their energy is very close to uh, zero. And in our case, the, the energy separation is 0 0.03 mini EV. So uh, if our Energy resolution is not uh, uh, high enough. We got a zero bus peak. Uh, yeah, then how to uh, separate them? This is a, a big question. Uh, uh, we did uh, this uh, magnet field dependent uh, measurement. Uh, we, we found uh, on this uh, thick film, and uh, when we apply a smaller magnet field, uh, we can see we got a large intensity of this zero bus peak. Uh, but uh, when we increase the magnetic field to 1.18 Tesla, we found that this intensity uh, dropped abruptly. We got only a quarter of this intensity. But uh, on this uh, Nabim cellular or signal film, this uh, intensity of this uh, zero bus peak doesn't depend on the uh, magnetic field. So this kind of things. Uh, suggest that uh, as uh, uh, when we apply a uh, small magnetic field, uh, we got a high intensity that maybe has some contribution from manual zero mode. Uh, and we also uh, studied the spatial distribution of this zero bias peak. What uh, we did is like this. At uh, the center of vortex, we got only one peak. Then we move our tip from vortex center to the edge. And we found that this peak become broader and broader. Here, this one peak split into two. And if we move further, uh, we, the split become large and large. Uh, then we can uh, reproduce this data uh, in this color image. And using this red cross, represent the peak of, uh, of this, uh, uh, in this line. And then we use the two line connect these peaks, and we found that these two line meet at the center of vortex. And for one quantum layer film, two quantum layer, three quantum layer film, these two line always meet at the center of vortex. But uh, uh, 
uh, for four quantum Banner film, you can see this uh, two line meet at uh, 10 nanometer away from center. But uh, 15, uh, uh, fifth uh, quantum Banner film, this, this two line meet at about uh, 15 nanometer away from center. Uh, for this six quantum Banner film, uh, the, the meeting point is about 20, 20 nanometer away. If we summarize this, uh, our data here, you can see a clear transition from uh, four quantum Banner film. Uh, this kind of uh, zero byte peak splitting point change is oh, only uh, observed in this kind of uh, topological ship kind. So we think uh, this should be related to Majoran zero mode. Then how to understand it? Uh, for normal uh, zero bus peak in S wave ship connector, this uh, split is uh, already well understood. Uh, this is a PIL paper uh, uh, explain this uh, splitting at the center of vortex only one peak, a distance away split into two and uh, move uh, further and the split become larger. But uh, if there is a manual mode, uh, it it's, it's, it should be a uh, Dirac cones, uh, uh, this cone structure at the center of vortex, and uh, its energy is zero. So that means at zero uh, energy, we will need, uh, we add uh, this uh, peak. And uh, at the center, we add a big peak, and uh, at a distance away, we add a small peak. So the situation changes. So in the center area, when the, 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 the contribution from manual mode is big, we cannot see this splitting, only a distance away. We, uh, when the, the, the uh, contribution from manual mode is small, uh, and uh, the splitting is large, then we can see the splitting again. Yeah, this is exactly the, 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 the situation we, we observed. At the center area, we cannot see splitting, and only a distance away. We see the uh, splitting again. Actually, here is a summary of our measurement. Uh, for s wave ship connect, we cannot see this splitting uh, from a distance away, always from center. Uh, signal film, always from center. And uh, only thick film uh, uh, and uh, lower magnetic field, this splitting is from a distance away. Uh, this uh, case, we have manual mode. But if we apply high magnetic field, this splitting goes back to zero. Uh, in this case, the no manual mode. So we can do a cutting along uh, zero energy. And we got two lines. And uh, this one, uh, we have a contribution from manual mode. This one, we don't. So we can subtract uh, this one from uh, this. We got uh, this line. And this is uh, uh, measured distribution for manual zero mode. But it's uh, only along one direction. So we can rotate this line along y-axis, and we got this uh, uh, cone axis structure. We can see this way is very similar to the, the, the calculator way. And finally, I will talk about how to detect the spin of uh, manual mode. Actually, we can using the, the uh, spin polar STM to do this. Using uh, our tip, we can inject an electron with the same spin as the manual mode. We got a hole back. Uh, then we, we got a large conductor's case. And if we inject an electron with opposite uh, spin, we, this electron cannot go inside. We got a low conductor's case. Here is the result we, uh, we got at a, uh, uh, for the thick film and uh, at the center of vortex, we found that when tip spin is the same as the applied field, uh, we got a large zero bus peak. And the opposite, we got a smaller one. Uh, and if we move our tip a distance away, we cannot uh, see this kind of uh, speed dependent phenomena. Actually, in our sample, we only have uh, superconductor and uh, topological insulator. We have no magnetic uh, uh, material, and we only apply a, a small magnetic field. So this kind of uh, spin dependent phenomena can only be uh, explained by this uh, spin selective and ref reflection. Also, uh, Fu Chen Zhang uh, helped us did this model calculation. They found that if there is no manual mode, no matter what kind of tip you use, these two lines should be the same. Only if uh, 
there is a magellan mode in the vortex. We have this uh, uh, different uh, DID curve. Uh, this is their uh, simulation. This is our experiment. We see the agreement is quite well. We also did some comparison uh, experiment. Uh, this is signal film and uh, also this uh, uh, Bell S wave ship connector. We never see this kind of spin dependent phenomenon. And only on this thick film, oh, but uh, uh, on this thick film, we can see lower magnetic field, we can see spin dependent. But we, if we increase the magnetic field uh, larger than 0.18 tesla, this uh, spin dependent phenomenon also disappear. Yeah, here I will explain why uh, we can only see magnetic mode. Uh, uh, at a uh, film thicker than four quantum layer. Since I mentioned uh, for three quantum layer film, uh, topological surface data already forms. The reason is like this. For uh, three quantum layer film, uh, this, uh, this uh, Dirac cone structure already formed, but uh, at this thickness, the film level is still in the connecting band. So here, this spark carrier still uh, uh, dominate, but uh, for this uh, four quantum layer film, this uh, uh, film level already uh, moved to the uh, bottom of the connecting band. So here we can see some contribution from uh, from uh, surface state. Only uh, in the five uh, five quantum layer film, this uh, film level moved in the uh, band gap. So we can see. Um, uh, more contribution from surface state. And finally, I will uh, emphasize all evidence we all observed are consistent. Uh, only at a thick uh, film and uh, lower magnetic field, when we see the high intensity of this zero bus peak, we can also see the splitting from a distance away. And uh, we also see this uh, spin dependent phenomenon. But if we apply high magnetic field, this uh, intensity drop this uh, splitting goes back to real. This uh, uh, spin dependent phenomenon also disappear. So uh, they, they appear together and uh, disappear also together. And uh, finally, I will uh, show why high magnetic field can kill the magnetic mode. Since uh, when uh, we increase the magnetic field, the distance between vortex become, become smaller and smaller. At this uh, mag uh, magnetic field, the distance between the, the vortex is only 100 nanometer. If you remember, the size of a, a manual mode is about 40 nanometer. So at this distance, the interaction between manual mode uh, may become uh, strong enough to animate this manual mode. How many minutes? Seven. Five, seven minutes. Then, uh, I will show a little bit about uh, this uh, ship connect tip measurement. Uh, when PIL paper uh, proposed, uh, if you uh, use the ship connect tip to measure the, the uh, measure mode in the vortex, you can get three things. One is connecting uh, connectors become uh, this way, uh, smaller than when quantum connectors, but, and also. Uh, we can see a plateau instead of this peak. Uh, and uh, we can also see part, uh, particle symmetry. And uh, here I, I, I show why uh, a ship connect tip can move the tip, a peak in the gap to the, uh, this uh, position, uh, shift this peak to, to uh, uh, this position and uh, also uh, make the ship connect gap bigger. Uh, here is the result we 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 we, we using ship connect gap. Ac actually, as I show uh, uh, above, uh, at this lower magnetic field, we have manual mode, and we can see uh, this uh, peak then change at uh, at uh, for a, a, a distance, but. Uh, at uh, this uh, large magnetic field, uh, there is no manual mode, so this you can see the peak. Uh, uh, this uh, this peak changes at uh, the uh, beginning. So uh, that means uh, using Schupp-Kalman gap, this zero bus peak is pushed uh, to this uh, 
position and uh, since uh, uh, maximum zero mode doesn't change the energy, so we can, we can for for a distance we can, we can see this one, uh, and also uh, using superconducting gap we can see this plateau here is our experiment one and. Uh, uh, it's very similar to the plateau they proposed, and uh, but for Larbin satellite uh, uh, using same tip, we cannot we can only see this mountain like uh, this peak. And uh, finally, this uh, is uh, uh, particle uh, hole symmetry, and uh, you can see if we use the cube connect tip, the perfect uh, particle hole symmetry. Uh, if not uh, a cube connect tip, uh, this uh, symmetry is not uh, perfect. Uh, here is a summary of my talk. Uh, we can make topological chip connector by putting topological insulated thin film on top of chip connector substrate. And uh, uh, from zero energy, cone like a spatial distribution and the spin, we, we proved, uh, we saw the major zero mode. Also, using uh, chip connector tip, we get uh, more evidence. Uh, yeah, finally, uh, we uh, like. Uh, Thank you, Sultan, again, and uh, also my colleagues in Tsinghua and also in Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Uh, thank you very much. simple BCS formula uh, to the, to the uh, high intensity of state. In fact, you need, you need to use two bands. Uh, and when you do that, there are some anomalies, especially uh, as the near uh, zero bias. Um, now, um, first, um, you take this into account. Second, um, if that's the case, I, I'm not sure if anybody did the theory of how you proximitize such a two-band superconductor uh, into a topological insulator, and what are the implications both at zero magnetic field and finite magnetic field? Yeah, you are true. Actually, uh, uh, this one is uh, uh, two-band. But uh, in our case, at uh, a little bit higher temperature, uh, our maximum uh, temperature is about 1K. We can simulate uh, this, uh, this one with uh, one uh, BCS gap. You can see the agreement is perfect. Uh, this uh, measurement, measurement temperature is uh, one about 1K. So it's... Actually, mm. that's, that's exactly the point. If, if you look, for example, at, at the heat dissipated over... I mean, you always have your peak, which I understand is a solid line, falling away mm -hmm. from Uh, actually, uh, Hassan uh, also did uh, some RPS measurement. Uh, through this proximity fact, uh, they can see the directly see the, the gap open on uh, on the uh, uh, surface state. So. Uh -huh. My question is, which I'm not sure if there is even a theory for that, how do you proximitize these two gaps from the Niobium-type satellite into the, into the um, topological insulator, including the spatial state? Actually, we don't need to care about uh, how this kind of uh, proximity effect uh, works, which, uh, which gap. We only care about uh, the gap in surface state. That's the topological ship connect. Yeah, in, in our case, uh, uh, both uh, S wave gap and uh, topological gap exist together. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, do another quick question. This is uh, related to the discussion. How big are these gaps? Is there any chance of finding a gap outside of the Oh, this gap. Uh, 
uh, you can see it's a little bit smaller than in the larvae in the cell ladder. What's the gap in niobium dicellular? You can see here is the gap from niobium cell, uh, a little bit smaller here. Okay, um, let's uh, thank the speaker again. And um, we're running a little late, so why don't we start again at uh, what? Maybe 10 past 11? Okay, at 10 past 11.